Hey guys, Weasel here. And today I thought I would do something a little bit different. I wanted to talk about my switch light today. Okay, so I'm pretty old and I thought the switch light was going to be kind of just like a glorified Game Boy. I even have the old school Game Boy skin on mine. Um, <clears throat> and I originally got it because my Xbox took a big fat dump um, early last year? Yeah. Well, late last year. Whatever. Anyway, so I haven't had a console or anything to play anything on. And I dabbled around on some um, games on the tablet. The big, giant, honking tablet here. <laughs> Ooh, I can see my reflection in that. Look at that. That's weird. Okay. But anyway. Uh, yeah, and I played some games like Genshin Impact and um, Honkai Star Rail, which I like them, but they can get a little spendy, which I don't like. So I got the um, Switch Lite because I'm poor and I couldn't afford the full Switch console. So I got this. And I, yeah, I originally just got it for Pokemon and stuff. But it's so much cooler than I thought it was. Like, it will play, as far as I know, all the um, full Switch console games. Because, like, I, yeah, I did just get it for Pokemon. But <laughs> it, it, I've been stuck on this game, um, Xenoblade 3. And it's so good. It's so good. It reminds me back of when I was playing Final Fantasy VII for the first time. And I love that game so much. I, it, Xenoblade is just as good. It's, like, amazing. It's really long. And it's got this, like, massively huge open world. And I was, like, I didn't even think that the Switch Lite would run it. But I guess it does. The only um, downside I can think of to this thing is you need an SD card if you're going to have a lot of really big games on it. Because um, it is like handheld, but that's also kind of what I like about it is that, um, yeah, you could take it anywhere. It's, it's, it's kind of like a Game Boy. It's really cool. Um, but yeah, the uh, controllers are stuck in it. So I guess if you get, you know, the dreaded stick lag I guess you just have to get a new one but I only paid like I don't know like $170 for it because I get a play discount um but yeah it's so cool and then like Nintendo exclusives oh my gosh the Nintendo exclusives are really good too like Xenoblade I think is a Nintendo exclusive Pokemon Smash Brothers all that stuff it'll run all that stuff and I'm like Oh, another cool thing is that it can play all the, like, old-school Nintendo games. Like, I could play Super Metroid and um, the game that haunted my childhood. Super Ghouls and Ghosts. I hate that game. But I could play it. I won't. Because I hate that game. I hate that game. With all my life. But yeah, it's actually really way, 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 way cooler than I thought it was. I'm pretty sold on the Switch now. Actually, I'm so sold on Xenoblade that I'm going to get a 1 and 2 when I get a chance. When I'm not poor. Um, <laughs> it's awesome. It is. It's, I, I didn't think I was going to like it as much as I do. And um, yeah, I'm pretty sold on Nintendo right now because the Switch is like so cool. And I could take it anywhere with me. It's got a pretty decent battery life as well. But yeah, the memory is not real big because I only had, um, I mean, they are big games that I have on there. Um, like Pokemon Violet is pretty big. It's, uh, the first, I don't know if they did this because I haven't played any of the Pokemon games recently besides Go, which is just a stupid crappy mobile version, but, um, like actual console Pokemon games I haven't played since some like Sun and Moon which was, like, forever ago. But this one is different. It's like, um... It's like an open-world Pokemon game, so I thought that was really, really cool. And your, like, main dude is a motorcycle? I was like, oh my gosh, you could ride around on it like a motorcycle. That's interesting. And, yeah, I just, I really like it. I am I was surprised at myself for liking it so much. But I, originally I got it because it was the most affordable option I had because I wanted to get a new Xbox, but then it's like, well, I didn't have a TV, and then I would need Wi-Fi probably, and also it's really, really expensive, like, for a new Xbox. So, or I could just get the one I used to have, but why do that? Because all the new games are coming out on the next gen. 
So I'm like, hmm. So I just got the um, Switch Lite instead, but I really, really, really like it. So I think it's really cool. And Xenoblade is an awesome game if you haven't played it. I do want to play 1 and 2 because I haven't played them yet. Because, like, 3 has just got me, like, super sold on that series. It's it's so good. It's, it's like, yeah, it reminds me of when the first time I played uh, Final Fantasy. My first Final Fantasy experience was uh, 7, I think. And I, I remember even back then playing it on, like, I think it was PlayStation 1, being like, these graphics are ass, but the game is, like, so good. But it's different with Xenoblade. Like, the graphics are really good. Um, let's see if I can... Come on, open. I'm doing the DLC right now because I've actually beat the game, and I'm really sad. But the, the graphics look really, really good. I mean, right now I'm in a fight, so it doesn't look that great. But, like, the... There's so much amazing, like, um, background detail and everything else. It's it's awesome. <laughs> it's really good. There's a really good story. The, um, the story is very confusing, but it also is really, really good. It's, um, I'm, I'm enjoying it a lot. It's a JRPG, so you do uh, at one point have control of, like, six characters. You could take control of any one of them if you want, but I always just stuck with Noah because he's like the main dude um but you could you could take like the healer whatever you want and you could trade classes you, it's it's crazy it's complicated but it's fun um <laughs> the story is complicated but it's fun and the reason I want to play the um original two games is because I'm in the DLC right now and they keep I they're referring to like the older games and I haven't played those yet so I do want to play those eventually when I, yeah, I have to see if I can find like a used copy of um, Xenoblade 1 and 2 because like on the Nintendo store it's still like 60 bucks or something and it's like, Ugh. I could see that playing like the third one because I think the third one just came out or something and, but not for like an older game. I don't want to pay that much for that. But anyway, that was like all I really had to say. And I just like Switch Lite is super cool. I really like it. And I think it looks pretty awesome with this um this uh old school Game Boy skin on it. It makes me feel like <laughs> I'm playing my old, old Game Boy from when I was like a little kid. <laughs> okay, I'm old. Oh, that was my birthday yesterday. Ooh, happy birthday to me. Do, 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 do. So, yeah, I'm old. But whatever. I just think it's cool. Um, yeah, I do recommend it. If you can't afford um, a full-size console and a TV, like, the Switch is definitely, Switch Lite, it's definitely a good way to go. And, yeah, you can play Animal Crossing and all kinds of other cool games on here. And it's definitely worth a try. All right. Later.